Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, it's not as highly polished and it doesn't have the grooves in it and all that other stuff, but it's finished. <laughs> now, something I noticed on this. Mine is just a little bit shorter in the handle. You see where the... Because I had to paint it twice. Um, I didn't put any finger grooves in. This I double lapped. Instead of uh, one lap, I put it around twice. And all I had to be careful of was the rotation of the grinding when I did it. So I, I wanted to go the way I lapped the stuff in there. I didn't put any glue in there. I didn't, uh, I didn't do any of that. Um, man, this thing feels good in hand. All I did was put some linseed oil on there. Just a little bit of um, boiled linseed oil on the handle. It probably could use another application here in a little bit. Um, it doesn't feel bad without these these grooves in here. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't feel slick. Uh, you know, this is leather. So, it's kind of grippy to begin with. Yeah, these, they add a little bit, all right? And, and it is contoured a little bit better on the original. You know, it's kind of swelled in the middle and tapered on the end. I tried to get it to do that a little bit, you know, but I was getting too close, you know, to getting it too small. So, um, it fits my hand. It's not quite as wide as the... Man, before it was really blocky, but when you're sanding, it, it takes that stuff off pretty quick. Uh, the motor got up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I was just checking it. I go, man, this thing's warm. Um, but yeah, that's it. And the reason why I'm not making it highly polished and all this other stuff is because look at it. I mean, it's a beater knife. It's going to be a beater knife. So I don't need it to be super highly um uh, i don't need it to win a beauty contest all right uh it's it's gonna win a being used contest because it's gonna get used and uh, i love it you know, i love i love recovering a knife you know that you had thought was gone and lost forever uh so that's just a little quickie there that's pretty much uh you know i might do a little refining here and there touch up things you know um, but other than that, it's completely functional. Uh, I've got two other knives that I could borrow the sheath from, so eventually it'll get its own sheath, but for right now, I don't need one, you know. I don't need another one. Uh, it'd be nice to have, but don't need, you know, and everything is nice and tight. There's no wiggle... There's no play in the handguard or blade or anything like that. Maybe they'll get some after use and stuff, but hey, I know how to fix it. Now, my only regret is putting it right here. I should have put it up here. You know, the the knot, maybe un underneath one piece of leather or just underneath that spacer there. Because it wouldn't have been as wide. It wouldn't have stood out as much. Um, but then again, when I'm sanding, I might have gotten that right up here. So I'd probably, the second spacer, just second guessing, you know, what I did and everything right now. But as it is, man, this thing feels great in hand. Uh, I love it. Love this knife. So there you go. That's my little project. Crossed swords. And, uh, it was... The, the very big learning experience was stacking these handles. Uh, getting it off wasn't all that difficult, you know, and cleaning it up wasn't that difficult, but twice doing that where I had that. And again, I think what happened was I had it clamped down in the vise, you know, with, with it mating up against the jaw like that. And then when I hammered, I believe what happened was it slipped. I mean, it would slip when I hit it, and maybe come back up a little bit, but it would keep slipping to where it had finally pushed. You know, I didn't clamp the blade itself down that hard. I mean, it was hard enough that I could pick it up, the whole vise, by the blade. So, I mean, it was in there, but 
I think, you know, you really only got this part and this part that it's grabbing on because of the, you know, you've got the grind here and you've got the, the fuller. So you really only have a small contact point for holding it in the vise. And when you're pounding, you know, I think that's what happened. It kept pounding and pushing, pushing and pushing. And then it couldn't compress anymore. It reached the maximum limit of being able to compress, which happened to be one spacer. But there you go. That's my theory. I'm sticking with it. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.